channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my kitchen. Yes guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will jump right into this recipe. I don't want to waste time talking too much. So let's jump right in and I will show you guys what I'm doing for today, okay? So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell right there and give this video a thumbs up so you know whenever i post any video okay all right guys thanks for watching and stay tuned now let's go <laughs> just a quick overview i'll be using my stockfish and uh, the cow tendon this is the tendon called aquarano aquarano i'll be using some of that i'll be using some of the cow meat so i've not cut them up yet so this is just i'll be using the cow ribs so i'll go ahead and cut all of this i might not use all of them because i'm not making a lot of soup so i'll just cut off as much as i want and then put the rice away and i'll also be using a um catfish smoked catfish okay so i have my microwave fish so i'm still having them smoked so by the time i'm at the point of adding the fish i'm hoping that the fish will be ready so if you want to see the full video of the smoked fish don't forget to turn the notification bell on because i'll be uploading that soon as well so guys uh, i'll go ahead and get all these stuffs ready and i'll come back guys i'm done washing the meat so all i have in this pot is uh, onions one uh, non-cube and salt so that's all i have for the meat i'll go ahead and turn the stove off go ahead and cover this pot and let it cook then i'll come back when it's ready okay looking good Um, the meat is ready now so I'll go ahead and put this uh, stockfish so I cooked this earlier before to save me some time so I'll go ahead and return that in and I'll add more water right now So this is the amount of uh, water that I will be using for this soup. I think it's not much so I'm, because I'm making a little soup. So before the soup is done, this water for sure, the water will reduce. I'll go ahead and uh, wash my cat's fish. So this is the cat's fish. I'll go ahead and wash that up and get... Um, whatever I need to get ready, get them ready. So while the meat is cooking, I'll go ahead and uh, grind my cooker oats. So here, I have one scotch bonnet pepper and one oziza, I mean grind oziza. I don't know if you can see that right there. So I'll go ahead and pour that in. Can you guys be quiet? Sorry about the noise. Oops. Okay. So that should be enough because I'm not making a lot of soup. So this should be enough. Sorry about the noise. What? Sorry about the noise. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm busy. Please. Sorry about the noise. Okay. You're sorry about the noise? Yes. Okay, and then you have to be quiet. If you are sorry about the noise, then be quiet. 
So I need a little bit more, I think. is done Okay, let's go ahead and add some palm oil. So let me not do like my regular way. I'm just gonna like use this spoon. No, my regular way is just to like pour that direct in. the oil so the next thing I have here is ogiri so I kind of put them here and put them in my freezer and then take them out whenever I need them so I'll put some of the ogiri in that soup Cover this up again and let it boil. Alright, so this is the smoked fish that I'll be using for this soup. The smoked fish, the smoked fish is ready. So I'll go ahead and take this toothpick off. Ah, that looks so nice. goodness that's so hot so using two of the smoked fish <sighs> so make sure you allow your fish to get cold okay don't be me don't be like me that can't wait or be patient okay okay I think I've separated all the bones from the fish so let's come back to our delicious soup there you go looking so nice so right now I'll go ahead and add my cats my smoked catfish add my crayfish so this is about uh, one two three 
four, five, six, and uh, about six and a half uh, tablespoons of crayfish. I might have to add a little bit of water because this um, I don't want this soup to be thick. I don't want it to be too thick because when it cools down, <clears throat> when it cools down, it gets thicker. So you don't want your soup to be very thick at the beginning because it's gonna get more thicker when it cools down. So I'll go ahead and oops, I'll go ahead and add my smoked mackerel. Go ahead and add all of that. I'm not gonna throw anything away. I will throw the bone away. <laughs> of course, I will throw the bones away. Okay. So these are the bones. So I'll throw these ones away. Oh, look at that. And make sure when, as from this moment, Make sure when you're stirring your soup, you're being careful because you don't want to break that fish. Even if they are dry, but they can still be like easily be broken. So be careful. So if you need to add more water to your soup, feel free to do that. So go ahead and give that soup a little taste. Oh, that's nice. That's good. So I'll go ahead and add um, my non-cube. I'll add non-cube. So here you go. Put one non-cube. So I think I will add some a little bit of water into this soup right now. Because it's getting too thick. I don't want it to be that thick. That's, that's okay. It's not much. Perfect. That is the amount of water that I want. So I'll go ahead and cover this up and let it cook for maybe five minutes. I'll come back and put my okasi. And we are done. We are almost done. So I'll go ahead and right here, over here, I have a uh, Oziza, Oziza leaf. So I added a little bit of Oziza seed. So I'll, I'll be adding some Oziza leaf as well. So and this is my Okase. Um, one mind is telling me to, you know, my mind is telling me to use Oha for this soup. But based on the fact that the last soup that I made was Oha that I used, so I'll be using okasi for this one. But believe me, if you add your half for this, to this leaf, oh my goodness, you go eat this soup until you bite your finger. When you use your half for this soup, you, wouldn't pro you probably wouldn't know when you bite your finger from eating the soup. So I'll add that. I'm adding this at the same time. It doesn't, it doesn't really make any, doesn't really make any difference. So I really need to get all the houses out. So. so I use this to get all the houses out and the okasi into that soup. I think I got enough now. Alright. So let's turn this together. Just be careful. So once you are done distributing all the vegetable all over the soup, I'll go ahead and cover this up and let it cook. If I'm using like a spinach or ogo, 
and can, if I'm using fresh vegetables like the one I just mentioned, once I put them in, I will turn the stove off and then let the heat from the soup and the hot surface cook the spinach. But since I'm using dry okase, I will just let it cook. I will let it cook in this stove for mm, about three to five minutes and then the soup will be ready. I'm not going to cover this so much, just lightly, because I don't want it to get more watery. So while that is cooking, I have my hot water to make my fufu. So I'll go ahead and make my fufu. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. There you go. The soup is ready. Just go ahead and turn that around. So you can see the soup looks pretty loose right now looks loose right not a problem so the soup is ready and it's done I'll go ahead and sh shut my stove off and I'll take this off the hot surface to a different place and then I'll go ahead and uh, make my swallow while this soup sit over there so I'll give that soup for like 10 to 15 minutes then I'll come back to dish the soup and the fufu. Then I'll show you the consistency of the soup when it's cold. Alright guys, the soup is ready. And it has been sitting on this place for like uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and dish this out. Look at that, looking so delicious. Oh. So some of the stockfish. So these are the cow, the white tendon, which is the afuano. So those are not fat, they are just the, not, sorry, not afuano, um, the aquarano. So that's now where is those my delicious smoked fish come right here. So I got the smoked fish, more smoked fish. So guys, look at that! Look at that. Isn't that great? Okay. So this is it. This is it. Looking so good. Right? Okay guys. So this is the end of the recipe. Here is my delicious. I hope it's my delicious soup. I hope you saw that. And this is my fufu, pandenia. So I'll go ahead and uh, give this a good taste. So, mm. I cannot ask for a better taste than what I have right here. Tastes so, so good. Mm. When you're eating the soup that is so sweet and delicious, you probably wouldn't know when you start dancing and you can lick your fingers so much. That is the only way to tell that that soup is so delicious. So I'm really like licking up all my fingers. At the same time, the soup was very hot. So <laughs> that's why I'm actually licking my finger that much to cool my fingers off. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I post any
cooking recipe and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thank you guys for joining me in my kitchen today to make this delicious food i'll see you guys on my next recipe or my next video okay stay blessed and stay safe out there okay all right we'll see you next time bye, -bye.